Well, I'm going to do a quick video on um, a doctrine which teaches that the Lord's only chosen certain people to be saved, uh, the elect. Some people hold to this doctrine that only the elect will be saved. I'm uh, just going to contend for the faith and refute that doctrine by a quick, simple demonstration from the Word. Uh, so, here have uh, the eternity in heaven before the creation and the Lord 1st Timothy 2 uh, the Lord died to save all men it's his desire to save all of his creation regardless of what they choose so we have free agency and we have the plan of salvation from God the Father that it behoove God that he'd have to send his son to come and die for the sins of the world given the opportunity for all men to be saved to be restored in the eternal kingdom the kingdom of God in heaven and on earth at the end so at the beginning God lays um, a table of every single soul and around that table he puts a name card of every single soul that he dies to save between this point and this point represents all those before the crucifixion from Adam and Eve up until Christ, death, burial and resurrection. This point to this point represents all the souls that live from uh, the, the cross to the very end time when the Lord appears on the Mount of Olives so the Lord dies to save all men in between we have free agency those that believe in the Old Testament will have been saved those who believed in the New Testament will be saved by their agency so all men can be saved it doesn't say that all men will be saved because of free agency so only God knows how many people are going to accept his atonement and that will be at the end that's the elect those that chose those that believed it wasn't only a certain amount of people would believe that's not our business to know that's the Lord's the Lord knows who's going to be saved and who isn't but while it's today it's an open season anybody can be saved he died to save all men and that is it in a nutshell and I leave that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.